Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I, guys, I say this every single time, but I'm actually so excited to film this video. Over the last few months, I've been in the process of reading the entire Akatar series, and we've made it to the final book, I think. I think it's the final book that's been released. That book being a Court of Silver Flames. This book actually got picked in my TBR video that I did for September where I had a TBR wheel pick my reads and since having chosen this book for that video I am let's see 271 pages in and I definitely want to say that this book feels very different from the rest of the Akatar series most notably, it's about Nesta and Cassian and their story. It's not following Feyre. And the other big difference is it's written in the third person. And so this, you're in Nesta and Cassian's mind, and it's written again in the third person. So just that in itself feels very different. It's definitely also slower, I would say, than the other books in the series and also steamier dare I say, and I'm not even, not even halfway through. So far, I'm really enjoying it. My battery is actually flashing, so I'm gonna stop on this update, but I did just wanna start this reading vlog because things are happening, and yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Hello friends, it's been a little bit since I filmed the last clip on filming my opinions for A Court of Silver Flames. Honestly, I would have updated more, but in my opinion, for how many pages there are in this book, it's honestly like kind of slow, like not in a bad way. I just don't feel like a ton is happening, which is odd because I'm literally like 500 pages in now. A few things that I've noticed about this book so far is, I mean, Cassian and Nesta's story is definitely very different from Rhysand's and Feyre's. Just like <laughs> Nesta and like the badass and like, I don't know, just cunning person that she is. Reading about her story and like everything that she's grappling with as a character is definitely very different from the story that we heard from Feyre and Rhysand. So I'm definitely enjoying that and I appreciate that there's a very strong distinction between these two stories, which I feel like sometimes authors have a difficult time doing. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier also, but this vlog is gonna have some spoilers that now I'm gonna say, so if that's not your thing, maybe click off if you don't want this book to be spoiled for you. But I just got to the part where Nesta, oh my goodness, where Nesta tells Feyre that her birth, that like having a child is going to kill Feyre. What a bit Like, I was like, I know that Nesta has all these issues and things that she's working through, but I just was like, oh my God, really? You're gonna do this to your sister? So now her and Cassian are just like hiking through the woods and she like just like broke down crying, which is where I just got to. So I like that she's like slowly being broken down and her character is like being like taken apart and stuff like that. So I'm enjoying all that stuff. But yeah, I was just like, Nesta, what are you doing? But overall, yeah, I am feeling like this book is a little bit slow. I have been tabbing it with the parts that I like. I do really enjoy Nesta and Cassian's relationship. I just like right now really do like Cassian more than I like Nesta. So I'm hoping that she's just like, it's better. I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of rambling at this point, but um, I'm liking it. Not as much as the rest of the series, but I am. I'm still enjoying it. So that's my update on A Court of Silver Flames. More updates to come hopefully soon.
So I've done a bit more reading now and I'm pretty sure in the last clip I was talking about how this book was moving pretty slowly and that was part of the reason I hadn't done any like earlier updates on how it was going. But right after I filmed that update, things in this book started picking up like crazy. I was reading in bed the other night and it was just one of those nights where I started reading, not really planning to read that much. And then I literally could not put the book down. <laughs> I think now I have about 100 pages left and I just got to the part where Cassian and Nesta are kind of coming to terms with the fact that they're mates, which like I think we all had to know that from the beginning. And that's been an interesting thing to observe because we can see that Nesta feels like admitting that she's Cassian's mate is giving up the rest of her humanity, which I found to be kind of an interesting perspective. There also seems to be like a love triangle brewing between Elaine, Asriel, and Lucian, which like I expected that. Like I picked up on that before this book started. I think I picked up on it in A Court of Frost and whatever the novella was. So I'm curious to see if that presents itself in here. I don't know. I'm really enjoying this element of the trove and like the impending danger and like, I don't know, that they're going to have to confront Briallen and all these kinds of things. So I don't know. I feel like everything that's been slowly set up throughout this book is really coming to a head now towards the end. I am really starting to enjoy this book. It was very, again, slow in the beginning, but now I'm so hooked. During my whole work day today, I could not stop thinking about reading this. I was like, maybe I'll just stop working for an hour and work an hour later. I did have the self-control that I needed, but it was this close, you guys. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's all for now. I'm gonna, I don't know if I could finish this tonight, but at least get started on this last little chunk and then I'll let you guys know my final thoughts. Before we even dive into my final book update, I thrifted this shirt yesterday and I'm kind of obsessed. It says, Pugs Not Drugs. And I just had to announce that to the entirety of the world before diving in to my final review of A Court of Silver Flames. So I actually started filming this video about a month ago. I finished this book probably like middle of September middle end of September and it's now October. I literally just put up my like October TBR video and all the like fall fantasy videos and all that good stuff. So if you haven't seen those already, definitely go check them out. Um, but it's been a little while since I finished this book and oh my goodness, the first like 500 pages were definitely a little bit on the slow side in my opinion, but the last like 200 pages no 300 pages were so good they were so fast paced i loved the ending of this book literally so much like i just feel like so many things were wrapped up and i came to really really love nesta's character i love it when authors can really take us through that like entire character arc where we see someone go from like very misunderstood not the nicest person and then like through <laughs> throughout 750 pages in this case we kind of get to see why nesta was the way that she was if that makes sense and we also got to see her and cassian and their story and how they end up together and i really really loved that aspect of the story too and then i also just loved seeing all the other characters from this world i don't know i am such a big Feyre and resand girl i love asriel i love Anne Cameron. like I literally just love them all so to see everybody in this book especially all of them coming together at the end but yeah I ended up giving this I wanted I gave it five stars but I think in retrospect I might end up giving it a 4.5 
just because while the ending was literally so so perfect in my opinion i don't know if that fully makes up for the fact that the first part of the book was really slow all that's to say this was a five star series for sure i've had so much fun making all these videos sorry i'm trying to put the book back on my shelf i've had so much fun making all these videos and reading all of these books if you guys have another fantasy series that you'd like me to dive into definitely let me know especially since it's october and and I have big plans for fantasy books that I want to read. But other than that, I think that's all I have to say. I hope you guys are having a great day and a great reading month. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, you guys. Bye.